Call of Duty has been doing a podcast, and you know this is episode three, but they've been kind of throwing some hints and some 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 things um, throughout their podcast. And specifically, I want to talk about the zombie side. Now we're gonna get into this. We're gonna react to it. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Right? Bet there is. Uh, okay, cool. Well, we're gonna put a pin in that and deal with that later. But next question. Um, we're getting a lot of zombies love, especially after the last episode. Thanks everyone for the questions Let's and go. The comments yeah. and all that. Uh, has the zombies team made any changes to Liberty Falls since we first saw it at COD Next? Yes. Short answer, yes. yes. Um, next question. The Liberty Falls <laughs> that everyone next saw question. at Call of Duty Next was work in progress, right? That, we knew that. Was still months away at the time from launch. We knew that. And so the zombies team has continued to iterate on Liberty Falls um since then and the visual tone and sort of the look and feel are now a bit moodier cool than what people saw in the work in progress version does that mean it's gonna be darker does that mean possibly like the the aesthetic because it was really bright it was like in the middle of the day does that mean it's gonna be darker oh, give me like give it give you that like spooky kind of you know vibe make it a little darker make it a little more a little like <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy but a little bit more depressing like make it depressed you know make it make it seem like i'm really fighting for my life you know what i mean well I man hold on uh call of duty next so that's very exciting and um there are some atmospheric elements that people did not see at next because at the time we had like Easter egg. the main quest and the Easter mm -hmm. eggs disabled. Yeah. For no spoilers. Podcast, no spoilers. You know? Yep. Hundred spoil percent. No spoilers. You and definitely so think, don't um, want to do that. I think that would be a terrible mistake. Of those elements. Um, Hopefully, it's to good. Look forward to for launch. Kevin Drew talked about this a little bit uh, next with our two launch maps. So Liberty Falls is intended to be sort of a smaller, more casual, so you can just jump right in compared to Terminus, which is one of the biggest round based zombies maps that Treyarch has ever made. Yeah, see, the only problem I have with that is I hope like just because Liberty Falls is, I guess, their casual map, I don't want them to start drifting into like wanting to, I guess, be more. I don't want it to just be a casual map like how I feel like that's that's what I'm getting. I could be a hunt like I could be wrong, but from what they sound like and what they're trying to say is Liberty Falls is like the. Kind of go to the side of a map, not necessarily the pinpoint focus versus Terminus, which is large. It's huge. Um, we know that there's a above ground and underground already. Um, so I, I hope that it still kind of, you know, coincides with the storyline that they're going with and stuff like that. But hopefully we'll see, man. I mean, we, we got to get there. Right. But based on what she's saying, she's kind of making it seem like it's not really. I, I just didn't like the use of casual there. That I, I think that's what's throwing me off a little bit. So lots to do there. Lots to do in both maps. But I think, um. Terminus speaks to the more hardcore uh, players and fans of zombies. And so okay. at launch with both maps, there's really something for everyone. I that. could dive into a Liberty Falls game, okay. run around for, say, an hour, save and quit. Uh, we'll, we'll see Whereas I feel action. like with Terminus, this is much more of a, we're committing yeah. to this squad. A few of the HUD elements and zombies are also getting touched up. Uh, is there not going to be solos in Terminus? Did you not solo run in Terminus? I don't know. I just, I kind of don't like their choice of words. Am I driven? I really don't like their choice of words. Like, what do you mean I can save and quit if I play Liberty Falls, but I'm dedicated and I'm pushing through with the squad on Terminus? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just their choice of words. Um, which we'll be able to share a little bit more about as we get closer to launch. So make sure you. I love the Wonder Waffle in the background. I love that. That's such a cool aesthetic. Uh, I low key want it, so I'll buy it. So, how much is it? Juggernaut fridge? Bro, come on. You look out for the upcoming the COD blog um, from okay. the Call of Duty crew and the Zombies team to uh, learn a little bit more. To some degree, we get a little bit of 
everything. I definitely hear them with the casual players, and Liberty Falls is just a much smaller map. Get into the action, play, whatever do you think. But there is a main quest line, which is good. Um, there is an Easter egg, which is awesome. But I don't know. Their choice of words are kind of like throwing me off, and it's throwing me for a loop. Maybe that's what they intend to do. Um, because now I'm feeling like there could be so much more inside of Terminus that possibly we've never experienced before. Wouldn't that be tight? That would be kind of cool, huh? And Liberty Falls is just your ordinary average uh, Call of Duty Zombies map. Based on Liberty Falls and what we've seen, they've changed it. Uh, they, they, they changed the aesthetic of the map, how it looks, maybe a little bit more darker, maybe a little bit more like, you know, just kind of like that depressing feeling. As in only RBZ. Yes. Uh, and Kevin Drew, who is on our last episode, who is an awesome human. Um, and Anybody who says that round based zombies sucks, say that to the person who grew up on Black Ops games. Me and my brother and us just like running for our lives, bro, being kind of jump scared a little bit. You know, I remember when Black Ops zombies was. At some point, it was kind of scary to play. And leading many parts of uh, Zombies of Treyarch uh, mentioned this at Call of Duty Next, that the team is entirely focused on developing round-based zombies content for nice. Black Ops 6. Let's go. And that the big news As it should at be. Next and on our second episode yeah. was that the third round-based zombies maps for BO6 will arrive by the end of the year. So we've got Liberty Falls and Terminus at launch and then a third Round-based zombies map coming, okay. you know, probably Huge. around season one, but by my okay. math. And today, we can also confirm that zombies players can expect more support for in-game events uh, compared to previous Black Ops games. So stay tuned. But what that mean? What that mean? What those might be? What that mean? Final question here from the mailbag: Will Kevin Sherwood's Easter egg songs be returning in Zombies? also known as the goat Meh. nice um <laughs> short answer again yes uh, nice. kevin Sherwood is back and he is writing some incredible amazing original songs for zombies and players will be able to discover two Love of that. them awesome. at launch so again one for Love each that. map mm. with terminus island liberty falls um i have heard the songs for both of them and they are ducking epic. They will be in the carry section of duck, carry, kill. Yes. Absolutely. For the foreseeable future. But <laughs> also, I, I think for now, for most folks, it's, okay, cool. I want to hear these songs for previous games. And again, for the first time you jump into zombies, do your homework. Have a listen to Kevin Sherwood's work because they're quite literally epic. Damned on repeat until October 25th yeah, and beyond. So um, get exciting. Have fun hunting for those at launch. Never been good at that. I've always let other people find them first and then I get to experience them. I really want to start making a little bit more zombies content. I kind of want to steer away from BR, man. I, it's just kind of getting repetitive and just overly like, uh, like kind of overstimulating. Round based zombies looks like that's going to be a main focus, which is fantastic, man. I'm, I'm super excited to hear all this stuff, honestly. So um, let me know down in the comment section, man. What, what are you guys feeling? Um, you guys kind of more with like with me on the on the like kind of steering away from br for now for a little bit because it's just kind of like repetitive and you know and and kind of maybe just steering off into some zombies content man and i think that'd be fun because i can have my wife do it i can bring my brother into it and you know just have a lot of fun with it um i think that would be really cool so Fighting for my life over here. Right, that's going to conclude today's video. Make sure you guys put God first because God is amazing. Stay straight. Keep walking in faith. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.